Get ready. It's time to have some fun. Coming to you from KDKA TV Studios in downtown Pittsburgh. It's Pittsburgh Today Live. Welcome. I always feel like I have some elaborate story to tell you with my hands when we're walking into the studio. Oh, really? <laughs> I know. There's always a lot we, of well, hand gesturing. Well, both of us talk with our hands naturally. <laughs> and then you, you, yeah, exactly. So we're walking in, you have to hold the door because I'm busy doing this. Right. And then this You couldn't happened, possibly get the door. Yeah. But it's Monday. We are back. We're both back from a week <laughs> off. Uh, we should say Happy Hanukkah. Also Christmas, just a few days away. And, uh, and thank you to everybody who filled in for us oh, last week. Oh, yes. Selena did a fantastic job. Mikey. Natalie Bensavenga, even Bob Pompiani was here. Did you watch? I was watching. I, I know you were watch. getting back from New York, so yeah. I watched it, and it was so fun to see the Pomps take over PTL. Yes, it was Grandma hilarious. B was even here. Amazing. My favorite yeah. though is Ellie because she's just so cute. A cutie pie. She is so cute. Um, so I. I don't know if you spent any time watching football yesterday, but there was a lot of ruckus in our house as we were yeah. watching. Yeah, uh, so it's like do or die time and what's gonna happen next weekend. So everybody's waiting and watching. This is from Pomp. So this is from Bob Pompiani, the, the Pomp that we just spoke of. So <laughs> the, the only spot still available for the Steelers after losing to the Jets is the sixth seed. The Steelers can get in with, listen to this, yeah. a win over Baltimore and a Tennessee loss at Houston. Mm -hmm. Or even if the Steelers lose again, they can get in if the Titans and Raiders both lose and the Colts beat Jacksonville and we all stand on one leg and keep an eye closed. No, uh, it, there's a lot there. But a lot that needs to happen. Cam Hayward weighed in on all of this. We still have a chance. Um, we know I make it harder on ourselves, but uh, we just got to continue to fight. Um, we don't control our destiny, um, but we got to come to play. You know, we got to give ourselves a chance. So we'll see what happens. I guess we should mention this is obviously from the locker room. He's not just sitting around without his shirt off commenting <laughs> on the game. He's like, so distraught at this point. He's not even wearing a we shirt. We go anymore. to Cam Hayward sitting there with his shirt off. Yeah, man. <laughs> It's so, what people talk about sometimes. They take their shirts the off. And, yeah. But here's what I love. I love the optimism of Steelers fans. Like, there's like this, this slim shot left, and we're like, but if this happens, well, right. this happens, and this happens, and you eat some pierogies down in the strip district. I know. I think we should add that to it. We should, we should all wear black and gold. We should eat pierogies in the strip district. I think, you know, let's hold on. There's a we'll list see. of things that have to happen. All right. All right well, so, good luck to the Steelers, and our fingers are still crossed. Yeah. Well, this is Monday, so we normally talk about our weekends, but now we really have a whole week to catch you up yes. on. Yes. Because we did a lot, so we're going to begin the weekend rewind with how I started my time off. We went to New York City for a quick little trip there, uh, and the very first thing I want to show you is the view we had from the hotel room, because we did not even expect a view, and it's so nice whenever you get a view. Uh, so we had a view of lower Manhattan, uh, which we may or may not see, but uh, take my word for it, it was a good view. Uh, just getting to New York, however, was the problem. Our oh. flight was canceled nine times. Nine, or our flight was delayed nine different times, and then they finally canceled it. So we spent wow. Friday in the Pittsburgh airport, essentially. And then we finally How got in another. Well, it was nice. They have shopping I mean, there, I they, hear. They do have <laughs> shopping there. But we were glad we finally made it to New York. And then we have some pictures. The first one, I actually texted you while we were there. Yes. Because we oh. order chicken parm everywhere we go in honor of Heather Abraham. And brings me look back at to the that. chicken parmathon. And uh, so this is from Lydia Bastianich's place, Becco. Uh, so this is not far from like where all the Broadway shows are. Mm -hmm. We love this place. And then I want to show you, that we went so to one good. of the, it was really good, Heather. Uh, and then this, so we went to a Broadway show and this was one of the stars of the show. We went to Little Shop of Horrors mm -hmm. and, um, Jonathan Groff is in it. This is Christian Borrell, Broadway star, who grew up in Fox Chapel. Get out. So we, yeah, we caught up with him. He's also a CMU grad. Uh, and then when we got back from New York, we decorated the house. Including, is that your piano? Did That's you our piano. We, uh, yeah, we put lights around the piano because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just fun. Uh, and then we have a little tree. We also have a tree in my dad's house. But we, and then we put lights around the door. It and looks all so that. pretty. It, uh, we feel festive now. Yes. It makes a difference. Uh, and then, uh, was it last Friday, we went to Bacon. Oh, it was so good. With our producer, Jill, and Heather and I, we were there we were for brunch. And this is their Bacon flight. So Bacon yes. is in Carnegie. That's mm -hmm. one of their locations. And these are 
They're all different flavored bacons, and then they slice it up for you so you can sample each one. It was, but it was a great time. Delicious. It was. A and delicious. you had some. Did you order the avocado toast? Am I remembering that yes. right? Yes. Avocado toast is one of my one of my favorites. So you had your avocado toast. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, my week off was a lot of family time. Frankie mm -hmm. was busy working on our basement. He's doing some home improvements. Okay. So look at this video. So oh, Rocco's was getting so big. So if I kiss his cheek. <laughs> now he goes in for the kill. He He's a smoocher. <laughs> he goes right in. That's so adorable. Oh, you know oh. what I love when, we, when you show videos of Rocco? His eyes, he totally pays. He, he's mesmerized with everything you do. I love And you see him it in so his much. eyes. Oh, I love it. I just love him. And he's getting so big. And this is his first Christmas, so we're really excited. Mm -hmm. And we're also excited because our family is in town visiting. Yes. So Frankie's sister. Oh wait, first I have to show you this picture. Um, this was Lila's course concert last week. And how did it so, go? So it was great. They were all. They got to dance and they had jing they played jingle bells and a couple songs that I'm not familiar with, but they were all dancing and singing. It was adorable. She adorable. has a very proud look on her face. She's satisfied of her performance. She got you to wear tell. her red dress. <laughs> and so this is a love. We call him Papa Joe. Lovingly call him Papa Joe. This is Frankie's dad, who's oh. up from Florida, as you can see the tan. Yeah, and I see a resemblance. Yes, because Frankie looks like his dad, and now Rocco looks yeah. like his dad. And you should his line the three of them up and get some pictures. And this is Sunny explaining to Vincent, her cousin, yeah. about the two elves. The two elves are hiding in the wreath, if you can see above our oh, kitchen window. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. So she was trying to tell Vincent where the elf was yesterday, that he was in jail because. Uh, the elf <laughs> tried to marry Barbie, and Ken was mad about it, and so Ken there's put the There's a lot the of drama in your household, <laughs> So she's pointing, and there's Nanny Dukes. That is Grandma. And Rocco looks yeah. so happy there. And they're tans, aren't they great? Well, they're from Florida. from Florida. Yeah. Yeah, we should spend time in Florida. We can get a tan, too. And then yesterday, even though Lila is feeling under the weather, we rounded up the troops, and we went down to PPG Place. We wanted to skate, but the line was so long. It was like a two-hour. It's, hour it's long. super popular. Yeah. But what a great asset to our city that that exists. I love that space. So you know what we did instead? What? We went for Manny's. There you go. That's totally reasonable. It's yes. Pittsburgh. So we didn't skate. Yes. <laughs> we didn't see a show. We didn't do anything. We went for Manny's. All right. I got a great <laughs> gift that I want to share with all of you mm -hmm. uh, because Heather Abraham is so thoughtful. Are you going to do your yoga and move she, again? I am. I'm going to do my <laughs> yoga move. No. So Heather knows me so well. She knows, and we've talked about it on the show. I am a fan of the Golden Girls. Oh, you so, are going to do look, your move. Look. So you were can you see on what's break. on my sock no, here? No. No one can nope. see it. They can only okay. see your. Right, wait, oh, okay. Here it. Oh yeah. So this. Is Rose Nylon socks uh -huh. from the Golden Girls. Now she looks a little weird when it's stretched out on my ankle. It like looks a little scary. Yeah, a little scary. But you can. She's in her red bathrobe there, or pink mm -hmm. bathrobe. But yeah, that's Rose Nylon. Okay. Well, so no one needs to see can, my leg. It just looks like a pink shot, a uh, pink sock from you know the from below. Of yeah. yeah. But, but surprise, surprise. Yeah. Lift when up your when, pant I, when leg. I stick my leg up in the air, you can all see <laughs> that it's Rose. So thank you. It was very thoughtful. Wow. Well, I yeah. love. Do you know what you got? I have to tell everybody. At home. <laughs> do I know? Yeah, you, you know, you know what you got me. <laughs> David got me a basket of uh, all the items to make a Cosmo. It's a Cosmo kit. It's a Cosmo kit. Yes. So Vodka, I mixed Quantra, them up. Cranberry. I poured my sister-in-law a, a cup of one, yeah. and she goes, oh, "Well, that's strong." <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's. I told you, it's a recipe from Canada. It came from two uh -huh. guys from Montreal. I had to add a lot of ice to yeah, that. Yeah, ice is the key. Because, <laughs> okay. you know, unless you're up for drinking like the Montreal, what do you call people from Montreal? Montrealites? Know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyhow, I have some questions for you, Heather, because in holiday time, mm. there are a lot of decisions to make. Okay. So we want to do a rapid fire quiz. Holiday questions, just say the first thing that pops into your head oh, as, to, as to these answers. Artificial tree or real one? Real tree. Uh, actual gifts or gift cards? Actual gifts. Turkey or ham? Ham. Okay. Regifting, sometimes or never? Never. Hot chocolate or eggnog? Hot chocolate. Open gifts on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Christmas Day. Okay. Silent night or away in the manger? Like as a song? As a song. Yeah. Or do you mean like <laughs> stay home and silent night or like well, yeah, away? I, I didn't mean it that way. I meant okay. it as a song, uh, but. Silent night. Silent night. Okay. Uh, decorate uh, the tree with garland or tinsel. Neither. Really? 
Well, I guess garland. I don't know. Garland? See, oh, I remember as a kid, we I think it's tinsel. You, we call them icicles. Yeah. But yeah. Cousin Sue had garland. I guess Anyhow, garland. Okay. Skiing, sledding, or ice skating? Uh, sledding. Okay. Gingerbread or sugar cookies? Gingerbread. And the final one is send Christmas cards or text email family and friends Aww, cards. Oh, isn't that boring? Send them. Actual cards. Yes. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a big believer in the greeting card. Uh, yes, yeah. you are. <laughs> like you have a shoebox full of them. Actual cards. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you know who's very busy this time of year? People oh, yeah. delivering packages. Because, you know, UPS, Post Office, FedEx, everybody else, they are all delivering these holiday gifts, trying to get them in time. And it turns out UPS drivers have this really cool Facebook page. It's called UPS Dogs. And it's just pictures of the dogs that the drivers meet up with. This and could be dangerous. It could be dangerous, <laughs> but I only saw adorable dogs. So we want to share some of these with you. Uh, and the first dog here, this is actually on the top of their page, just to sort of set the tone. So, dog so you know it's not there. a dog biting UPS right, driver. Not, this right, is all right. fun. These are friendly <laughs> dogs. All right, and then the next one here is a dog named Wilson. He is in Florida, and apparently he is Santa's little helper, okay. willing to carry the package all the way home. Take a look at this one. This is from Virginia. Thor likes to wait for a biscuit, <laughs> apparently right there at the UPS. Truck. And he's not getting out until he gets a biscuit. <laughs> All right, this is from Virginia. Or no, this one is also from Virginia. It is captioned, Jamers loves U our UPS driver. Jamers taught him to hand him a package when he barks. So cute. Our, yeah. our mailman gives our dogs biscuits every time he comes to the door. That's smart. And then sometimes we'll apologize, like, sorry, guys, I don't have them this time around. Right. <laughs> so, but he usually and leaves. And if, and if the dogs aren't out, then he will leave them right at the door. That's sweet. Very sweet. Very uh, sweet. We have been asking you guys to post different pictures each week mm -hmm. leading up to the holidays here. And now uh, we want to show you some pictures of animals, pets, right. dressed. Because we got so many last week. We want to show you just a few more. We had uh, so many. This is from uh, Joanna. This is Harley, her 16-year-old rat terrier. What a cutie pie there. And we have one from Jen. This is Katie on the left, 8 years old, a rescue dog. And Zoe is on the right, 7 years old. And then from Kelly, this is Buddy in his Christmas sweater. He looks happy, actually, for a cat in a sweater. You can't always get them to no, smile. No, you can't always do that. Yeah. No. Uh, so we loved all the pictures from last week. Check out our Pittsburgh Today Live Facebook page. And now this week, we're asking for kids with Santa. And I recognize these kids. Yes, there's Sunny running away from Santa. <laughs> And Lila on the lap, and Rocco's chilling. He doesn't. He doesn't know what's he going on. He doesn't. He doesn't. But he's happy. Lila understands, though. If she's good, this means something. Sunny's like, no, I'm not doing it. You can't make me. I'm not doing it. So send fine. us your pictures. We'll share them this week. <laughs> we appreciate it. All right. Well, coming up here on the show, we will tell you about a local shop that's lighting up homes across our area with some really creative lamps. If you have a vintage camera lover on your gift list, this may be the place for you. Mikey Hood will shed a little light on the subject coming up. There it is. Yeah, there's the place we're talking about. And you just saw Santa's house. That is down at the uh, at Market Square. Selena Pompiani is live downtown where you can get some last minute holiday gifts at the People's Gas Holiday Market. We'll check in with her in just a bit. And you may recognize him from Food Network's Holiday Baking Championship. Dwight Penny is here in our studio and he's going to teach us some delicious baking tricks that you can use at home. I'm excited. I think we're going to get to eat, Heather. So sit back and relax today because Pittsburgh to live to, to Pittsburgh to date live. You've been off too long. <laughs> oh, what's the name of this program? <laughs> it's just getting started on this Monday, December 23rd. Ha, ha, ha.